As we celebrate the 15-year milestone for the Hellenic American Cultural Center Museum, I think it's important to remember how we got there and with who. It wasn't until the planning of the Holy Trinity Centennial that the dream began to materialize. It took over two and a half years and thousands of volunteer hours by 65 volunteers to make it a reality. It was a group effort and it was a privilege to work with these passionate, talented people. Many have passed over and we say memory eternal. They made it all possible and personally I want to take this opportunity to thank them again for all their efforts. I was the founding president. It was truly one of my life accomplishments of which I am most proud. As I take the time to reflect on what we accomplished in those two and a half years, I am filled with awe, with pride, and with many thanks. We began the journey with the dream of starting a cultural center, and now the Hellenic American Cultural Center and Museum is a reality and is flourishing. HACCM benefits the community primarily by being an accessible educational resource for the whole public. So we offer free admission to our museum and we, we host free public programming generally about once a month. And basically the idea here is that we want people, whether they are of Greek heritage or not, uh, know a lot about Greek history or not, to feel like they can come here and learn something. So typically when you come to the museum, uh, there will be a special exhibit like there is currently in the middle of the floor and that you know can cover a range of topics. We've had textiles of Greece, the joys of living Greek, uh, currently we have in the shadow of the Acropolis, and then on the perimeter of the room we have the permanent collection and that's got a range of materials from antiquity, we've got pottery and sculpture, but we've also got really personal artifacts. I think the special exhibit, the special topic and the permanent, you know, it's not always the same topic, but they do work together to show kind of the broad strokes of history, but then also how, how the culture and tradition has been lived and experienced through the Pacific Northwest. One of my favorite pieces that we have on display currently is this painting by Marguerite Francis Sylvia. This one's called Toward Autumn. Um, one of the reasons I admire her work so much is I think it gets at what the mission of HACCM is all about, that she really uh, captured a certain spirit of the island and a village life. And in this one in particular, and in a lot of her works, this uh, multi-generational and cross-generational interaction that um, in, in Greek life is so common and is really what we're trying to do here too, is, is pass on this organization from the organization as it was founded to, to future generations as well. One of the aspects of the Oral History Project that I appreciate so much is that it shows the diversity within the Hellenic American experience, even in this region. So people came to America, to the Pacific Northwest, from several regions of Greece. Now, are you going to ask the question, That's where right. were you born? Where were you born? Oh, I want to follow this. Okay. Uh, in Crestina, Olympias, Greece, in the year 1880. 1897. Uh, in uh, 1893. Well, uh, the village there was uh, very, very poor. I was born in the village Corio uh, Caria near Argos. I was born in Ireland, Copolos, Greece, 1898. 1902. Constantinople, 1896. Samus, Greece. February 16, 1897. My father's name was Kostadinou Kostopoulos, and he was born in Greece in 1878 in the village of Boyati. He came to uh, Portland, Oregon in 1906. The idea is not just that Hellenic history happened and it's over and it's in the past, that we're not just here to capture immigrant stories stopping in the early 20th century. Our mission is really to start with those groups, but also how it's lived and sh shared through, through contemporary times. Well, I think it's important to, to know where we're going to go now. What's the future? The foundation's been laid and it's a strong foundation. But what's the next level? Are you a Hellene or are you a Philhellene? Are you Greek 
It doesn't matter if you're Greek. You don't have to be Greek to participate in the Hellenic American Cultural Center and Museum. In fact, all of us have some Greek in us. This is your cultural center. It can be whatever you want it to be. So consider being a volunteer. Consider joining the committee. There's room for everyone and everyone is welcome. Your input and your participation is important to make HACCM grow. The time is now. You can chart the course of the future of the Hellenic American Cultural Center and Museum. We have a strong start, but we need you, and the future is only what we want it to be and up to your imagination. Join us in our journey. Thank you.